Hello everyone. Today we'll learn about stacking technology, which is commonly used in data center networks. Stacking is also called cluster switch system or intelligent stack. Both are similar in technical functions, but CSS generally involves the stacking of modular switches, whereas iStack generally involves the stacking of fixed switches. Stacking technology combines multiple physical switches into a single logical switch through cables. It is many to one virtualization technology. This technology simplifies network deployment and improves network performance. Traditional data centers use device redundancy and link redundancy to ensure high reliability. This networking relies on the use of STP to prevent layer two loops. However, network convergence in STP is slow and congestion may occur on some links, resulting in poor link efficiency. In addition, STP increases the complexity of network configuration and maintenance and can lead to a higher rate of network failure. To solve the preceding issues, stacking technology is used to construct a loop-free data center network. Multiple switches are virtualized into stacks according to whether they reside at the access or aggregation layer, and links between the stacks are aggregated to build a loop-free tree topology. Multiple nodes are virtualized into one node, reducing the total number by more than a half. This facilitates node management. Because stacking technology creates a loop-free tree topology, STP, VRRP, and similar protocols do not need to be deployed. With inter-device link aggregation, the convergence time is reduced, link congestion does not occur, and bandwidth efficiency reaches up to 100%. Network scalability is higher and more efficient than traditional STP networks. Because of these advantages, stacking technology is widely used in data center networks. Now, let's look at the fundamentals of stacking. The first step is to set up a stack system composed of switches. After the switches are connected through stack cables and the required stack configurations are complete, stack members send stack competition packets to each other to elect a master switch based on the switch startup status, stack priority, and MAC address. The master switch acts as the brain of the stack system, managing the entire stack. After the master switch has been elected, it collects topology information of other stack members and selects a standby switch as its backup. If the master switch fails, the standby switch assumes the role of the master switch. During the stack setup, other stack members synchronize their configuration files with the master switch and run the same configuration file as the master switch. After a stack system has been set up, all stack members are virtualized into a single logical switch and the master switch manages the entire stack system. Each switch has a unique stack member ID which identifies stack members. Multiple switches are virtualized into one logical node. Therefore, the stack system is typically connected to upstream and downstream devices through inter-device link aggregation. That is, Ports across multiple stack members are bundled into an aggregated port and traffic is load balanced among these links. Link aggregation ensures high bandwidth and reliable data transmission because an aggregated link remains up even if a stack member or a given link fails. Inter-device link aggregation in a stack system also supports local traffic preferential forwarding. An aggregated link selects an outbound interface based on a hash algorithm. Therefore, traffic entering the stack system may be forwarded across stack members. Because the stack link between stack members has only limited bandwidth, inter-device traffic forwarding increases the burden on the stack link and reduces the forwarding efficiency. The local traffic preferential forwarding function effectively solves this issue. It allows traffic entering a stack member to be preferentially forwarded through the local port of the switch. Traffic is forwarded across stack members only if the local outbound interface of the switch is faulty or the bandwidth is insufficient. This function reduces the burden on a stack link and improves traffic forwarding efficiency. Stack members are connected through cables to set up a stack system. If the links between the stack members are disconnected, the members cannot communicate with each other 
and a stack system may be split into multiple stack systems. After a stack is split, members continue to run the same configurations and use the same IP address and MAC address to communicate with other network devices. In this case, IP address and MAC address conflicts occur, causing network-wide failures. Dual active detection technology is often used to prevent such conflicts after the stack system is split. When DAD is configured, stack members send each other DAD packets over direct links or aggregated links to detect whether a stack system is split. If the stack system is split into multiple stack systems, each stack system exchanges DAD competition packets with the other stack systems. A stack system compares information in the received packet with local information and continues to forward traffic only if its local information is better than the received information. If the received information is better, this stack system shuts down all service interfaces except reserved interfaces and stops forwarding traffic. This prevents IP address and MAC address conflicts that would otherwise occur when the stack is split. After the stack links recover, the multiple stack systems form a single stack system. The switches that failed the competition restart and restore the service interfaces that were shut down to the upstate. The entire stack system recovers. That's all for today. Thanks for watching and see you next time.